Sir code for Adobe eEncoder, exporter plugin for Adobe Premiere Pro CC. Launch Adobe Premiere Pro and create a new project. Next, create a new sequence. Go File, New, New Sequence. Under the Tracks tab of the New Sequence window, locate the Audio Settings menu. From here, specify the master as multi-channel and the number of channels as 8. Note, in this tutorial, we will demonstrate the recommended workflow for encoding a 5.1 plus 2 program into Adobe E. To simplify your workflow, remove any unnecessary video or audio tracks from the new sequence. Next, specify the audio track type as adaptive. Double check that your track output channel assignments are as follows. After verifying the track output channel assignments, click OK. Next, import an asset that contains 8 channels of audio into your project bin. Right click on the file you just imported and go Modify Audio Channels. Ensure that the clip channel format is set to adaptive and that clip 1 of the media source channel coincides with that of the source audio's channel configuration and the track output channel assignments we specified in a previous step. Click OK to proceed. Drag the file onto an adaptive audio track in your timeline. With the file selected in your timeline, go File, Export, Media. Under Export Settings, select Surcode for Adobe E from the drop down list. Next, specify an output directory and file name for your encoded asset. To do this, click the file name to the right of the output name. From the file browser, choose an output directory, name your asset, and click Save. Under the Audio tab, click Codec Settings to access the Surcode for Adobe eEncoder user interface. Note, the main tab allows you to specify timecode start time, frame rate, frame offset, input routing, program configuration, dialog level, also known as dial norm, and the similar. Always refer to your delivery spec when configuring these settings. From the Program Configuration drop-down, select the appropriate program config, in this case, 5.1 plus 2. Assuming that the asset has been mixed to the delivery target loudness, set the dialog level of each program according to your delivery spec, in this case, minus 24. To set metadata parameters, tap through each program and enter in the values according to your delivery specification and or preference. Note, the Settings tab contains options to enable or disable the following. Prepend guardband to encoded file, write to mono files, use sequence frame rate, and or start frame. Prepend guard band to encoded file is enabled by default. We highly recommend that you leave this option enabled. This option dynamically calculates correct Dolby E line position based on your frame rate and will ensure that you do not receive any line position rejections from your broadcaster or downstream production partner. We also recommend that you leave the use sequence frame rate and or start frame option enabled unless your delivery spec dictates a specific time code start time. Note, if you disable this option, you will need to manually specify the frame rate and timecode start time on the main tab. After adjusting the encoder's parameters accordingly, click OK. Tick the Import into Project option to import the encoded file directly into your project bin after exporting. Click the Export button to generate a Adobe e encoded file. If we drag the Adobe e encoded file onto the timeline and instantiate Surcode for Adobe e Decoder for QC, we can see that the metadata is in place and that the Adobe e file is ready for delivery.